Americans, you know? You're a racist if you're like part of the KKK, right? You're a racist if you mean it. It has to come from the chest, so to speak, right? Um, and, and you can see this because um, now sort of, you know, um, la last year when you had the Commission on Racial and Ethnic Disparities sort of report that came out um, that basically said, you know, we don't think structural racism is a thing in Britain anymore, right? Um, oh, um, and, and, you know, they sort of blamed it on families and effectively family structures. And it's, it's another kind of way of blaming, blaming the poor and the excluded for their own problems. Um, but, but that sort of narrative only makes sense if you think of sort of structural racism in this very narrow way. Like, like you've got these rules that specifically say, you know, no blacks, no dogs, no Irish or something like that. Right. And it's like explicitly coded in. But I think, you know, especially in Britain, but in a lot of societies that are struggling with racialized inequality, the way in which racism works um, on a sort of structural or cultural level is a lot more subtle. You know, um, I think 